Chief. Perhaps the most dominant champion in WWE history. The head of the table, Roman Reigns. The following contest is a tag team match set for one fall. Introducing first, representing the Bloodline from Pensacola, Florida, weighing in at 265 pounds, the undisputed WWE Universal Champion, Roman Reigns. I've been at this table for decades and I've never seen a competitor this dominant. Month in, month out, Reigns continues to dominate. Yeah, but think about this, Corey. The man who finally puts a loss in Roman's record will become immortal. It's bold of you to think he'll even lose. Well, even with the competition at this level, you might be right. just can't help but be in awe of the tribal chief. I agree, Saxton. This man has truly earned his spot at the head of the table. hitting high flyers around ready for takeoff and his partner representing the lwo from mexico city mexico weighing in at 200 pounds santos escobar santos escobar is such a dangerous competitor he came up in mexico city's lucha scene escobar has always been a standout talent from fighting in the underground to the highest heights in NXT. A background in lucha tradition, but ready to make his own moves to the top of WWE.
superstar possesses the smoothest tope suicida in the business. It hits you like an arrow straight from hell. And he also possesses a phantom driver that will absolutely flatten you. and he might just miss Rey Mysterio. Moves like a jet to a Mach 10. He is incredible to watch. Ladies and gentlemen, when you think of WWE, you think of John Cena. Loved by many, resented by some, but respected by all. And from West Newbury, Massachusetts, weighing in at 251 pounds, the WWE United States Champion, the Great. Superstar whose dominance has bordered on controversy has actually found himself as the target of scorn for some. Uh, the dominance shouldn't be controversial, Corey. If anything, he's underrated at this point. Cena's beaten a who's who of this business. Hall of Famers, living legends, Triple H, HBK, The Rock. The list goes on and on. And that bodes well for his chances here tonight. Time to test how well these superstars work together. It's a good old tag team match. In tonight's bout, we begin with Roman Reigns and Santos Escobar. Well, they will be facing some fierce tag team action with Rey Mysterio and John Cena. Both sides in this match know that tag team competition is a very specific, very unique art form. We're going to see just who will be the better team here tonight. Enough already. And that canceled out Reigns' offense. Textbook jumping clothesline. Oof. Big time knee rocks his opponent. the veteran Mysterio there. Oh, tag made. Oh, right to the gut. Man, oh man. Reigns really having his way right here. Roman seems tapped into his endless reserve of strength. Uh-oh. Jawbreaker. Call the dentist. He thinks he has it. Only a one count before the kick out. He's far from finished. Uh-oh. Oh, flipping the script on him there. Jumping neck breaker. Ouch. Rolling neck snap. Look at this heel hook. This is how you punish your opponent. And he's enjoying every minute of it. in the corner there's the switch John Cena's in Hurricane Rana unbelievable athleticism it takes a certain level of athleticism to pull that off oh, gut buster partner 
Carter tags in. Look at this. Just unloading. Oh, a nasty stop to finish it off. Oh, the power. And that was a precisely measured attack. A power bomb's not meant to be pretty, but oh man, does it get the job done. Yeah, uh, pretty sure they don't want to be taking any more of those. Each of those boots seem to get heavier with each boot. Roman Reigns so dominant, putting his opponent to sleep with the gear. The guillotine locked in. This is all. No, that was an incredible counter. Bad predicament right here. Oh, 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 just bounced that face like a basketball. Jarring impact. He's in off the tag. Schoolboy takedown. Oh, no. Wait a minute. Sit out power bomb. You have to question what kind of malintent is behind a power bomb with that much force. Punch. Ray had that well scouted. In comes John Cena. Cena plans in motion. Cena. Oh, no! That didn't look good. Launch out to the outside. That's playing fast and loose with your own body. That is weaponizing your body. That's what that was. Everyone get out of the way. These two are abandoning all restraints. SmackDown is live here tonight, over 20 years on the air, and it's been home to some of the very best ever to step foot in the squared circle. Some of the greatest of all time. One, now would be the time for everyone to clear out. Easier said than done. They are not concerned about anyone else's well-being. Well, this is a warning to grab our stuff and go. Keep it in the ring, please. Saxton's a very fragile boy. Counts running out. And just eating a knee on the reversal. You can tell passions are running pretty high here. Yeah, the intensity of this rivalry has really ramped up recently. That's exactly why I expect this to be a very entertaining match. This match grinded him down a little. Uh-oh, monkey flip. <laughs> I love it. Uh-oh. Counters! Cover! Is it enough? Kick it out before the count. He's still got more left in the tank. And a tag there. Nice hip toss. He can end it here. He's got him. He got the shoulder up in time. Kicking out now sends a very clear message. Oh. Powered them up. No. Here come the punches. And breaks out. And he sends him into the corner. Jawbreaker. Call the dead. The Emperor of Lucha Libre playing to his subjects. And he gets the tag. Kick to the midsection. Setting them up. Canadian Destroyer! Cover! There's two! Forces the shoulder up after two. Getting that shoulder up now is huge. Escobar connecting with the Phantom Driver. Can that keep Ray down? Two. He, no way. No way. Incredible. The big heart of Ray Mysterio shining through in the clutch. Listen, that should have ended things. And look at his face. At this point, you have to believe he's losing some faith in himself. A 
okay already. We get it. Stop looking for adulation for the crowd and get back into the fight. He has a task at hand, but prefers to be showboating right now. Oh, counters right into the breadbasket. Oh, my God, what a cross body. He's getting a little batter now. Now, that'll do some serious damage. He's stalking his opponent from the top turnbuckle. Oh, man! Shoulders down! He kicks out at two. What do you have to do to put this guy away? Tag is good. There's a tag. What are we going to see here? Double team effort. Flying shoulder block! He's looking a little weary now. Yeah, they've stuck it out through this match, but it wouldn't hurt to go for the tag soon here. We'll try, well, she has it cinched in. There's a cravat sleeper hold submission. Cena! And he's able to fend off what must have been a grueling submission. Uh-oh. Cena gets intercepted. From a deadlift position. And did you hear the impact of that? The tribal chief has acquired the target. Locked, loaded. Here it comes. You have to sense that fatigue is starting to become a factor at this point. Make no illusions of it. This is coming down to a battle of attrition. And set right into the corner. Tag is registered. Solely focused on... Oh! Nap time on the island of relevancy. I have no idea how he hasn't tapped out yet. All the oh, right into the turnbuckle. Nobody home. The superstar desperately needs to make a tag, and here comes their partner. If I'm being honest, I am shocked. Surprising teamwork between these two. Here he goes for the win. Kick out just before two. All the punishment he's taken, and yet he's still in this match? Beautiful suplex. Boom! Slam! With authority. He's struggling a bit here. This is what the purpose of a tag team is. Will it be? Cena's still in it. This is no time to hesitate. You can feel the end coming. Roman Reigns gets the tag. Reigns hits it! Reigns got all of it. Looking for the victory! Listen to this place. It's unreal. The decibel level in here right now is breaking glass. These fans are on fire. Oh, right to the throat. Tag is made. There's the bulldog. And just look at the damage to Rain's face. Oh, Rey Mysterio. Look at that. Oh, whoa, nice. 
Mysterio with a sunset flip power bar. Ow! What a spear by Reigns. No coming back from Reigns after that. Is it enough? The cover! Just a ruthless streak for the world to see. And that move might have crossed the line. Taking this match off the mat now. Roman Reigns saying this is not the WWE Universe. This is Roman's Universe. Able to get there in time. Well-placed elbow to break up the maneuver. Can Reigns recover from that? Cover! And he makes the save for his team. He's not going to be able to pull this off, is he? Oh, is he? yeah! Whoa! Sharp elbows to the body, looking to fight his way out. What a headbutt. Vicious. Reaches his partner for the tag. He's been placed in the corner now. Taken out with double. Escobar with connecting with the Phantom Driver. That's it. Santos just ended things. Oh, I thought it was over, but again. Can we please get some control? Stop to the gut. Man, this place is jumping. That's a free fall. And there's the tag. Roman Reigns into the ring. Look at the knees, one after the other. Tag. And a knee turns the tide. Oh, right on the arm. Not good. Tagging his partner in now. Setting them up. Destroyer. Cover. Oh, no. Fly with the moonsault. Familiar territory for Mysterio. Blast off. Oh, splash. Escobar couldn't avoid the big shot. Two. It's over. was a bit of an odd pairing, and this loss only proves my initial feelings to be true. If they want to continue after... The bloodline has arrived. Their dominance is historic. The following is scheduled for one fall on the way to the ring. At a combined weight of 501 pounds, Solo Sokoa and Jimmy Uso, the Bloodline. A 
faction that has amassed unparalleled power. And the bloodline is not afraid to showcase that power. demand respect but rarely give it <laughs> so that's the thing byron when you're as dominant as the bloodline it's a fact of life Take a look at this team, completely on the same page. Such incredible teamwork they've shown. I can't wait to see them compete. Imagine being in the ring with the bloodline and not feeling instantly intimidated. Well, look at the raw power, the athleticism, and the intensity that this group possesses. They've shown they can conquer any obstacle and claim any prize they set their sights on. And they'll stop at nothing to do it. The ruthlessness of the bloodline has become practically legendary at this point. Straight to the knee. About to be the proverbial one-legged man in the you-know-what kicking contest. Oh, oh, what a Samoan drop! Oh man, right to the arm. Hyper extend your elbow. Left by the turnbuckles. Strong oh, kick. My goodness. A manager grabbing anything from under the ring is beyond unfair. It's just downright evil. Teen off. Every strike more devastating than the last. Watch the quickness on this. Snap suplex. up in a pump handle. And a Getting the shoulder up before two. Fighting hard to stay in this match. Ah, what a neck breaker. Oh my goodness, dribbling the opponent's head like a basketball. Oh, stomping away. Hooked up, DDT. Oh, look at that torch of their opponent. Uh oh, this isn't gonna be good. Oh, man. Vicious right forearm. Does the official not see him removing the turnbuckle pad? Keep your voice down. From behind, back suplex. And Zane is clearly looking for a fight here. Got the tag, got the tag. Put into position now. Not right to the throat. Leg drop. Delivers the knee. 
Solo making it loud and clear for his opponent tonight. That's using your head. And big concern here is Sammy is bleeding profusely, guys. Oh, that's a kick right to the face. Double the punishment. Jimmy taking a moment to see if the fans will show some love. He's got it. Oh, ho, ho. let's get it on. Don't do it. Slingshot sent on to the outside. Just a devil-may-care attitude on full display. Going for broke, and it pays off. delivered back into the ring. Close line! He is just reeling from that offense. Yeah, they stuck it out through this match, but it wouldn't hurt to go for the tag soon here. Boom! He gets tagged in. Hurricane Rana! Unbelievable athleticism. Does he get it here? kind of showing the bloodline will surely do some reevaluating. That was a great example of what a tag team can do when it's firing on all cylinders. Two decades on the hunt in WWE. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Making his way to the ring from St. Louis, Missouri. Weighing in at 275 pounds. The Viper, Randy Orton. The definition of a WWE superstar. And in my opinion, there is no one as gifted in this game as Orton. Now, Corey, I agree. Legendary factions, all-time tag teams. But Randy Orton is best when he does some solo work. And when he's doing said solo work, Randy Orton is one of the most sadistic individuals the WWE has ever known. The more hostile the environment, the more at home Randy Orton seems to be. One of the most methodical superstars in WWE. Every step he takes serves a purpose. Yeah, Randy Orton is always thinking inside that ring and provides no reprieve from the gruesome attacks that he creates. Always a threat with the three most dangerous letters in all of sports entertainment, R.K. Watch out, here comes the MVP of Chase U. Michael, I can barely hear myself think. The Duke section is going nuts. And his opponent, representing Chase University from Adelaide, Australia, weighing in at 253 pounds, Duke Hudson. Duke Hudson is such an inspiration. His fellow students know to work hard, fight for their dreams, and always go above and beyond. There's a reason why that MVP trophy is made of solid gold. Duke's the real deal. 
We're looking at a big brawler with ridiculous power and deceptive agility. Imagine the thoughts going through his mind right now, knowing that he is about to face one of the most decorated competitors in the history of WWE, Randy Orton. They call Randy Orton a viper, always coiled and ready to strike on his opponent at a moment's notice. And think about this. Early in his career, Orton was praised for his natural in-ring ability, for how effortless it was to be the most dangerous competitor around he now has over 20 years of experience in this business, and things are probably not going to win for a couple hundred years, Byron. You know why? Because the Billy Goat's curse is in effect. Oh, I can't. The agonizing hole got to find a way out, and they do. Close line. What impact. There's certainly an element of danger inherent in a no disqualification match, isn't there, Corey? More than a lot of people realize. It's not just the superstar in the ring you have to worry about. You have to worry about everyone in the locker room that they're aligned with. The odds in this match can swing with or against you so fast. Attack to the midsection. Oh, man, a little extra luster behind that kick. He's heading to the floor, but he can't take his time. Oh, no. Now that he has the kendo stick, I definitely do not want to be in his path of destruction. Oh, cracking the kendo stick across the head. He can end it here. He narrowly avoids the count. He's determined to keep this matchup going. Oh, and that buys some time. By Randy Orton. And with an onslaught of strikes like that, it's clear they have nothing but punishment on their mind. Nasty stomp to finish it off. Ah, oh, this is a way to incapacitate every inch of your opponent slowly, methodically, and painfully. Here's the cover for the win. An emphatic victory. from Duke Hudson tonight. I actually like this because the trash talk has already started. It is very clear these superstars do not like each other. Oh, we're not going to wait any longer. The match hasn't even started yet. And these superstars couldn't care less. This is personal. Oh, the ref has got to take control of the situation. Can we please get this match started? There's the bell into this highly anticipated match. So anticipated, these combatants couldn't even wait for the bell. This match is a powder keg, ready to blow. Emotions are running very high between these superstars. Well, that's one explanation for the unchecked violence we witnessed before the bell. That showed a complete lack of respect for your competition and for our sport. Logan Paul feeling on top of the world and letting him know it. What a forearm shiver! Thrown out of ringside and back to the mat. Trapped in the corner. Oh, multiple punches. No escape from these punches. So ruthless. Moonsault. He's feeling the effects of that last hit. He planned for this and could still rally. Oh, and a stop. 
What's the best strategy when going head to head with a guy like Robert Roode, who knows every dirty trick in the book? Well, I think Robert Roode actually helped write that book, Cole. When facing Roode, you need to play it safe and wait for openings. That's the only way you'll avoid falling into one of his traps. Oh, yikes! A stomp to the guts! He can do it here! No, he pops the shoulder before three. We'll see if this is the start of a rally. Logan is sustaining the attack. This is patience paying off. Waiting for openings and avoiding Rude's dirty tricks. Planet with a face buster. Logan Paul, kick right to the chest line. Kick by Logan Paul, roundhouse to the side of the head. He's getting pushed out into the defensive. Yeah, Cole, but at this point in the match, you still haven't lost the edge. Forearm just raking across the face. You can't get caught in a hailstorm like that if you want to win. <laughs> Opponent's down. Oh, this is not good. Cover up. Ooh. Made famous by the Miz. Attack after attack is smothering Robert. Rude needs to find a spark. Up and around, down. This could do it. And this one is over. Here is your winner, Logan Paul. The unexpected attack earlier played in their favor, allowing them to lock up the win tonight. I bet their opponent learned a thing or two in this one about watching their back. I bet they did. Next time, it might not be so easy to steal the match.